It's Adam from Edge. We are uh, backstage at Tech Ed keynote rehearsals. I'm here with Michael Cleef. Michael, what are we doing back here? So, Adam, we're, we're backstage. It's about like 8 or 9 o'clock uh, backstage before the foundational keynote. And uh, we just want to take, take a little bit of time just to talk about what we're going to be doing at Tech Ed um, for, the, for the foundational keynote for tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow we're going to be talking about some of these kinds of devices and how they're going to work with remote effects. So, you know, this kind of device I've got in my hand is a solid state device. It's got remote effects on an ASIC on chip. Um, you know, as you can see, it's got a number of, you know, inputs for it, obviously networking and it's got HDMI, it's got USB, but, you know, this is a super thin and light client, like three watts of power um, that we think is going to be, you know, really changing the game in thin clients and obviously reducing the cost of, of where thin clients are today to, uh, you know, obviously a much cheaper price point. So the demo that we've actually got for this is you can they see the thin clients up the top up there that we're running on, you know, obviously different color ones. But um, so we've got a couple servers which are domain controllers. With the thin clients are going to be connecting into our remote effects servers down on the bottom. Um, so we've always got a primary and a backup, you know, uh, for, for our demos. Um, but so you can see the demo on the screen there, right there is, that's AutoCAD 2011 running on one of those thin clients you saw just a second ago, but that's running on remote effects. So right now you look at that experience, you go, yeah, okay, great, that's fine. You know, but I mean, remote effects can deliver 3D experiences and AutoCAD is all about 3D experiences. So in fact, if I go and switch on some of the capabilities in AutoCAD um, and just switch on hardware acceleration, what's now going to occur is AutoCAD's going to be able to use the power of remote effects and its use of the GPU to now light up the whole 3D model and deliver the rich shading and lighting effects that AutoCAD 2011 can deliver in DirectX mode. So you can see it's, it can, it's absolutely relevant for rich application usage. And of course we can do things like uh, we've been able to do before you know, minimize down, maximize up, and, and this is the Call of Duty um, Black Ops preview. You know, we're delivering full HD experiences over a device like this, super thin client device. And, you know, this is what we're going to be showing tomorrow in the keynote. Um, there's one other thing that we're going to be showing as well. And we, we haven't talked a lot about this, but what we've also got the ability to do if I just get to my v VDI VM, you know, I've got, I've got my phone here connected into that laptop that's sitting up on top just up there. Mm -hmm. We're now going to be able to deliver USB remoting inside your VDI session. So, you know, for example, this is, this is my own personal Windows mobile phone. Um, you know, I can go and connect in without setting up my device now inside my VDI VM. And if I want to, I can copy files onto my phone for, for later usage. And of course, you can control that with corporate policy and all that. But you know, we've never had USB capability, capability and remote effects lights that up for us. So, so tomorrow in the foundational keynote, we're going to be showing all of those things. We're going to be talking about the thin client devices. We're going to be talking about you know, the rich experiences you can deliver with 3D applications, powerful applications in DirectX mode uh, with, with remote effects. OK, tell me, how, how, do, how do we get access to this stuff, Mike? So, I mean, obviously this all comes in Service Pack 1 of Windows Server 2008 and, and will be delivered through, you know, Windows 7 as well, sitting on top of uh, the hypervisor platform for remote effects. Um, so, of course, you know, Bob's going to announce this morning, you know, uh, when, when the beta is going to, you know, be delivered. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh, we're obviously all excited to get it into your hands and trialing it out. And, you know, along with that, there'll be a whole bunch of guidance, you know, when we come to beta time frame okay. about the sort of things you need to be thinking about in terms of GPU and sort of the performance you're going to require and, you know, how you scale with that as well. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for a beta sometime and uh, that's when we can start taking advantage yeah. of these features. As per Bob's keynote. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye.